I have a fun and simple sweet treat for you that's perfect for the harvest season. It looks a little bit like flint corn, also called Indian corn. Start by melting half a stick of unsalted butter in a pot over a low flame. And as that melts down, add one quarter cup of light brown sugar and let those come together and, and melt. The sugar needs just a moment to melt into that butter. And then we start getting to the really good stuff, the marshmallows. This is one 10 ounce bag of mini marshmallows. Buy the minis because they melt more quickly and evenly than the regular size marshmallows. So it makes your job easier too. Stir the mixture over a low flame just until the marshmallows melt down into a uniform mass of gooey goodness. Okay, this looks great. And now it's ready for the popcorn. I have three quarts here popped, that's 12 cups. And that's gonna get stirred in with the marshmallow mixture. I like to use candy coated sunflower seeds because the colors really mimic Indian corn and those just go in and also get stirred around. And just gently stir these. You don't want the candy to break up too much or melt. That's why we're doing this off the heat and not on the heat. All right, now for the fun part, getting messy with our hands. Take a little butter that's at room temperature and coat the palms of your hands. This will ensure that the popcorn mixture doesn't stick to them. This makes about six, so you can, you know, divvy it up if you want first. And it should be about the size of a real ear of corn. And then place these on a parchment lined tray and let them sit just until they're fully cool. That'll take about 15 or 20 minutes. These are great for a Halloween party or you can take them to go. They travel well. They're really easy to make. You only need a few ingredients and they're gluten free with marshmallows and chocolate. It's something that is just about universally loved. Okay, I'm gonna let these hang out on the tray until they're cool and no longer sticky. That'll just take a few minutes. Our popcorn cobs are firm and dry now and ready for their packaging. You don't need any special equipment, just a pair of scissors and natural parchment paper. That's sometimes labeled as unbleached. Cut it into 20 inch pieces. You'll need six of them for one recipe and then fold it accordion style into two and a half inch wide lengths. Take your scissors and make a cut on the bias, starting about two thirds of the way up the parchment to the top center. And repeat on the other side, just like that. And for the last one, same deal. Now, watch this magic, it's so cool. I love this trick. Unfurl a piece like this and place the corn cob on one end and be sure and leave about two to three inches at the bottom because you're going to want to twist that up to uh, keep it all together. Just like that. And twist. This becomes a handle for you or the kids when you eat it. And then if you're traveling with it, leave it just like this until you get to the party. But if you're going to serve it right away, take some of these husks and just gently fold them back just as you would if you were shucking an ear of corn. It really does look like Indian corn on the cob. 